Secretary of State Antony Blinken and U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo visited Purdue University today to talk about the future of semiconductor manufacturing. As Fox 59's Kristen Eskow reports, federal and state leaders say funding from the Bipartisan CHIPS Act could help bring some new jobs here to Indiana. Members of President Biden's cabinet meeting with state leaders to discuss Indiana's potential for growth in the semiconductor field, as well as their work toward making sure a skilled workforce can fill the jobs that are created. What we're doing at home, and particularly what is happening here, goes directly to our standing and leadership in the world. Secretary of State Antony Blinken praising the work at Purdue University to help expand U.S. manufacturing of semiconductors. That's the technology that helps power many products, including cell phones and cars. Blinken and U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo toward Purdue's microelectronics facilities as the university scales up its semiconductor degree programs. This place is maybe one of the most inspiring human fabs that I've ever seen. The tour comes not long after Governor Eric Holcomb's trip to Taiwan, a world leader in semiconductor production, and the announcement of two new facilities coming to West Lafayette. To ensure that we outgrow, out-innovate, and outcompete the Chinese Communist Party to ensure that American values prevail. Young and Raimondo pointed out the CHIPS Act includes funding for workforce training at all education levels. The best way to do workforce development is in partnership between uh, the companies who hire people and uh, colleges, community colleges, high schools. But we're making investments very early on, the first steps you might say, K through 12. This is about GED to PhD. Purdue University President and former Governor Mitch Daniels says Indiana's K through 12 schools have more work to do to prepare students for jobs in the semiconductor industry. The jobs we were talking about here today will require a high level of uh, cognitive ability. And uh, right now, it, it's not clear that our public schools in Indiana uh, are up to that uh, challenge. I hope they get there. Purdue University officials say Secretary Blinken also met with students at a job fair on campus earlier, where nearly 600 students signed up to learn more about job opportunities in the semiconductor field. In West Lafayette, Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Okay, Kristen, thank you.